folks. I see that the fashion of wearing whiskers is coming in again, and I feel that this calls for a few remarks for me. Whiskers, as you are probably aware, were first worn in the Stone Age. They were handed down through the generations until the Victorian era, by which time they became very popular, and lasted until approximately 1920, by which time they became the curse of the Underground Railway and were finally abolished by Act of Parliament. Now, I claim to have the finest troop of trained beards in existence, and I would like to show you one or two of the more interesting specimens. The first one is known as the earwig. This, you will notice, grows in and out of the ears. And this interesting little bit of fluff is known as the tea whistler's delight. Now, a very interesting specimen is this piece of face fungus known as the face fin. This interesting whisker, as you will note, goes right out from the cheeks and is therefore very useful as a rudder in a gale of wind, enabling the wearer thereof to safely navigate through a typhoon or hurricane. When worn with a hat like this, the effect is very fetching indeed. Now, the next interesting exhibit I have is one known as the kiss-proof or asbestos whisker. This whisker, you will note, covers not only the chin and upper lip, but the mouth as well, thus rendering the wearer thereof kiss-proof, hence the name. A man wearing this type of whisker has no romance in his makeup, has never been kissed, and therefore has never had the privilege of being dragged through the divorce court. He is a man who usually wears a hat like this. Now, to follow the kiss-proof, we have a whisker which is known as the hold all. Now here, we have a whisker of great luxuriance. It is usually worn by men whose wives make their neckties. They are people who have something to hide and the general effect is that of a man who has swallowed a horse and left the tail outside. It is very useful for carrying concealed weapons and uh, other odds and ends for which a man has no room in his pockets. But the man wearing this type of whisker is a man who usually has something to hide. And when inviting a man wearing the hold all to your house as a dinner guest, it is always advisable to count the silverware before he leaves the premises. One wearer of the hold all, to my knowledge, was invited to a private house to dinner and got away with a silver soup tureen, three brass candlesticks and a cuspidor before the loss was discovered. And now, with your kind permission, I will leave you and get a shave. Goodbye. <laughs>